Sounds on 29th would like to thank Hold Please Productions for their support. My name is Terry Barton Gregg, and I am the Hebrew hairdresser. Yeah. That's right, I'm the Jew with the do. <laughs> you know, I was wandering around. Uh, I got a little lost coming to the station tonight. I was wandering around, and, and I realized what you call a 61-year-old Jewish woman wandering around in five points. Landlord. <laughs> My husband and I live south, just past Park Ghettos and High Rollers Ranch. And the, when we moved in, the entire ethnic population increased to two. <laughs> and, you know, my neighbors don't know how to speak to a Jew. As a matter of fact, when I first moved in, my neighbor looked at me and she said, Terry, is it okay to call someone a Jew? I said, not if they're Muslim. <laughs> and then she said, Terry, are you a devout Jew? I said, no, Jews are not devout. We are observant. And she said, well, are you observant? And I said, well, at a distance. No, I do drive-bys, drive-by synagoguings. And then she said, you know, I have this favorite movie. It's, it's that epic Jewish film, Swindler's List. Oh. And you know, it was, I, my husband and I decided to sell our house. So uh, this gentleman came over to look at our house and he said, as I was standing in front of my, my china cabinet and I had a menorah behind me and he said, you're nothing but a dirty Jew. My lips to God's ear. And I said, I am not dirty. And if you have a problem with the cleanliness of my house, you take it up with my Mexican maid. Because <laughs> she will cut a bitch. <laughs> and then I called my husband. I said, oh, my God, honey. I told him exactly what happened. And he said, you know, what do, what do you want to do? And I said, I wouldn't sell that man my house for a million dollars. Now a million two five, I might consider because I am a Jew. <laughs> so I am married. I've been married 11 glorious months. The rest of the 36 years have been meh. <laughs> Actually, my husband is so romantic. He's so cute. He, uh, when, it, it was, when it was our 25th anniversary, he took me to Paris. And for our 30th, he came and got me. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> so anyway, so my husband is absolutely adorable. He just got his PhD in educational psychology. It was $160,000, clap. <laughs> He's a doctor. I'm a Jew. He's a doctor that can't perform medical, he can't write a script for medical marijuana. He can't perform plastic surgery. And if I have an orgasm, he expects a copay. <laughs> and for the amount of money he expects for a copay, I can't afford to fake it anymore. So my husband, he decided he's going to grow a beard. He wants to look like the, like the hipsters, right? He wants to grow a beard. And I looked at him about, about day 29, and I said, honey, you need to shave that thing off. Because you're starting to look more and more like your mother. <laughs> and she looked like a manatee. And then he said, Terry, do you think I'm going bald? And I said, honey, I don't think you're going anywhere. I believe you've arrived. His hair is joined the relocation program. It's relocated to his ears, his nose, and his ass. So he said, well, what should I do about it? And I said, I gave him some Rogaine. I said, rub it on your head like this. And he's rubbing like this. And he kept wiping it off like this. And what? not a hair on that man's head, but he had the most lush patch of ass grass I have ever seen. <laughs> so I had him grow it out and do a big comb over. <laughs> Take that, Donald Rump. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. So I am a hair designer. And I love it when people call me and they, you know, they don't know me. I've never met them before. And they say, Terry, do you think I need a trim? I'm like, well, I don't know. Let me consult my checkbook. <laughs> my checkbook is reflecting that not only do you need a trim, but I'm thinking highlights. <laughs> I'm thinking color. You're getting the happy ending. <laughs> and I had a client that came in and she said, Terry, she said, you know, aren't those earrings real? I said, honey, I'm Jewish. The orgasms might be fake, but the furs and jewels are real. <laughs> and on my way down here tonight, our, um, I, I went to the ATM because I had to get some cash. And you know, spell check will mess with you every single time. And you know, so I went to the ATM and apparently it was not working. And so uh, instead of it saying, sorry for your inconvenience, it said, sorry for your incontinence. <laughs> not nearly as sorry as I am. 
And I just got a message from my doctor's office that told me I have culinary artery disease. <laughs> I did. My name is Terry Barton Bragg. I'm going to give you back to Bree Davies. Thank you very much. <laughs>